Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can do branching in Microsoft Forms. Uh, let me first explain to you the use case, the situation, so you understand what I'm talking about. So here I have developed a, a nice quick survey, obviously in Microsoft Forms, and I'm asking my colleagues about their vacation plans around Christmas holidays. I want to know if they will be taking vacation or not. So there's just a few questions here that exist on the survey. Uh, but let me uh, show you uh, the situation. Let me show you a problem. So uh, if the user fills out the application and, uh, for example, says uh, no to this question, they're not planning to take any vacation, um, they still have all these other questions remaining uh, on the survey. And they actually don't make a, a, you know, sense because obviously the user answered no. Uh, to that question. So what I would like to do is I would like to uh, modify the logic of my survey. And essentially, uh, this is what I want uh, to happen. If the users answer yes, and you know, meaning that they plan to take vacation, I, I want them to continue with the survey. If they answer no, I want the survey to end, right? There is no need uh, for them to spend any more time on the form. And if they answer maybe, I want to skip to this last question uh, where it will prompt them uh, about you know, the date when uh, their plans, you know, vacation plans will be finalized, all right? Uh, so let me show you how to do that. It's actually quite easy. What you need to do is add the branching logic into your survey. Uh, what you need to do is you need to click on any of the questions. In this case, I want to build some uh, logic around this question, depending on the answer, and click three dots and say add branching, all right? And this is where I can pretty much designate what will happen, uh, you know, what the workflow will be for the survey. So if they answer yes, I want them to continue with the survey. So we don't really need to change anything here. It will just go to the next question. If they answer no, I want the survey to end, all right? So end of form for this one. And if they answer maybe, I want them to skip to uh, this last uh, question, all right? So they don't need to um, answer those uh, questions three and four, all right? Uh, now, one other thing I need to also build into this, if they do provide those dates, right? If they say yes to their vacation plans, they obviously need to give me the start and end date, but I don't need them to answer this question anymore. So if they answer question four, all right, uh, this is where we tell it, to stop, all right? Uh, after question four, no more, you know, no more answers. They don't need to continue with the survey. Once again, we are going to end the form right here, all right? That's all you need to do. Uh, and then just click uh, the back button so everything is saved. And let me now, you uh, you know, let me now show you uh, what the end result will be. So I'm going to generate a URL and I'm going to uh, paste that URL again. Here we go. And look at this. First of all, my survey is much shorter already uh, because obviously uh, the number of questions really depends on their answers. And um, I'm not going to spend any time on this uh, question. Let's just check out the logic. If the user says yes, look at this. It asks them for questions number three and four. If they say no, essentially that's where the survey ends. And if they say maybe, uh, again, we're skipping a few questions, and all they need to do is just, uh, you know, supply uh, the answer here for the uh, vacation date uh, uh, that, uh, you know, they, they when their plans will be finalized. So this is pretty much it. This is how branching works in Microsoft Forms, nice and easy. If you have lots of questions where, um, you know, you have different responses, right, and depending on the response. Uh, you want a uh, different workflow for your forms, you can easily build the logic once again by clicking the question and three dots and adding the appropriate branching. Um, but that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye.